Hey, welcome back. If you've ever been to a country where language spoken wasn't your native tongue, you know how challenging it can be to initially navigate the region. How do you compensate? A lot of people use hand gestures or translation software or even calculators to get across basic ideas. The challenges of speaking to people in another language other than your own is not that dissimilar on a technical level from speaking to someone who comes from another industry and doesn't understand your lexicon. There's a learning curve. Often to compensate, the buzzwords get stuck on the tongues of the person that is trying to understand and they wind up overusing or misusing words to describe what it is they want. For example, I used to work as a retail merchandising designer and the term white model was coined. This term was used to describe a 3D model that had geometry but none of the texture. We would submit these to graphic designers to mock them up in Photoshop with placeholder graphics. Somewhere along the line, white model became synonymous with quick and easy. The issue is that texturing a model is a process that certainly takes time, but establishing the geometry in the first place is the brunt of the work involved, at least in merchandising design. So I would get last minute requests almost daily for a quick white model to show a client a concept. This compounded and eventually I had to hold a meeting and explain to people that the time savings was negligible to an ordinary model that I'd produced and that I needed the proper time allotment to be able to do the work. By clearly defining the vocabulary of what a white model is in the first place, I could have saved myself a ton of time and frustration. As a funny side note, I once had someone ask if we could print the graphics in high def. When you're dealing with someone that might not have all the technical words to describe what it is they want, sometimes developing analogies is a helpful route to travel. The same goes for communicating conceptual ideals or technical processes that are hard to describe. For instance, with injection molding, I might tell a client that this is a process that is much like filling a tire with air. There's a cavity and a port and something being inserted into the tire and I'm shooting the cavity with air and the air is conforming and expanding to the bounds of the tire. Tire. Much like with injection molding, you're shooting plastic into a cavity and the plastic takes that form. Then all you have to do is bridge the gaps in the remaining understanding, such as explaining to them that the mold is usually a rigid material that opens up and then the plastic when cool is ejected. Another example might be explaining 3D printing to someone that has never seen the process take place. I might use a much more parallel example, such as explaining it like it's a sort of stack of cross sections that are being printed on paper and only the places where the print is taking place is where the paper will remain. Taking time to empathize with the person and you're talking to and reach for concepts that you're certain they're familiar with can be a powerful way to go about communicating effectively. This will not only ensure understanding, but then they'll have a more fluent understanding of your process and know what to expect. And setting expectation is a critical part of the design process. Send me some of your thoughts. Have you ever had a hard time communicating with a client? I'm sure you have. Have you ever had some awesome analogy come up when you're trying to communicate something? Let me know. Send me a thought on Twitter and Instagram and I'll post some of the best insights and projects. Thanks so much. Have a great day.